Texas. Get ready for a wild ride in the temperature and weather department. Check it out outside now. We've got lots of clouds rolling back in. Notice a couple of little drops on the tower cam lens here. That's an indication we've got some of that mist and drizzle beginning to develop underneath some of these low clouds. 47 degrees in downtown now. 43 degree dew point. Look at the wind still out of the south now at 9. That's starting to warm the temperatures up, but that wind right now at temperatures in the 40s still makes it feel fairly cool. Feels like it's 43 outside currently in downtown. 47 degrees in Longview, 49 in Canton, but look at the temperatures towards the south and west. Notice 51 in Lufkin, 50 degrees in Crockett, 55 now in Groton. And so warmer air beginning to move in, but it's going to take a while as that warm front continues to lift to the north. Dallas, Tyler, Longview, Jacksonville, Nacogdoches, Lufkin, clouds. And I mean, it's a lot of clouds out there, folks. These are going to stay with us here over the next 48 hours. So don't expect much, if any, sunshine. And I highly doubt we'll see any sunshine. Underneath some of these clouds, we are seeing some drizzle making its way in with that south flow out of the Gulf of Mexico. Expect that trend to continue as well as a few light showers possibly developing throughout the next couple of hours. So Futurecast showing us by lunchtime again some spotty showers out there across the area. Drizzle, spotty showers continue this afternoon. Tonight, clouds, drizzle, a few spotty showers. Look at the temperatures actually climbing into the upper 60s during the evening and overnight hours. So we'll see a warming trend during the evening and overnight hours. And as you go throughout your Saturday afternoon, notice temperatures getting into the 70s. There's your Arctic front moving in. 7 to 8 o'clock begins to move into the northwestern half of East Texas and will continue to work its way south. By midnight, anywhere along and north of I-20 will be into the 30s already. And as we get any leftover moisture behind that front around midnight or so, we can have just enough like a wet rag almost to squeeze out any available moisture. And that would fall in the form of a few snow flurries or a few sleep pellets. Not a big deal, but something to just keep in mind. And then by tomorrow or Sunday morning, oh my goodness, this is just downright cold with temperatures well down into the 20s. So yes, there is a slight chance of a few snow flurries or a few sleep pellets, about a 20% chance uh, for folks in Sulphur Springs, Gilmer, Mount Pleasant, Mineola, Canton, Tyler, Lathens. Again, this is not going to be a major deal. It won't amount to anything. It, again, you may just see it though coming down for an hour or two briefly behind that front if there's just enough moisture left over. So just something to think about there. The temperatures, of course, are going to be the big story though. 70 Saturday afternoon, as quickly as that front moves through by midnight though, we're talking temperatures at or below freezing for most of East Texas. And by Sunday morning, everyone down into the 20s across the area. Yikes, it's going to get cold and cold in a hurry. And high temperatures on Sunday, barely getting above freezing. Some folks will stay below freezing all day. Now, watch the feels like temperature because this is just interesting to look at. Everyone feeling like springtime at 5 o'clock on Saturday with the 70s for the feels like temperature. By 8 o'clock in the evening, it'll feel like it's right around freezing along the I-30 corridor. It'll feel like it's about 70 still here along the I-20 corridor, and it'll feel like it's in the mid-70s across deep east Texas. By the time we get towards 11 o'clock, it'll feel like it's in the teens along the I-30 corridor, 20s along the I-20 corridor, corridor. Still feeling like it's in the 70s in deep east Texas, and by Sunday morning, it'll feel like it's in the single digits to the low teens across the area, with uh, wind chills not getting out of the teens and low 20s during the afternoon. The Arctic Blast is here, folks. Get ready. It's going to be a big time change. I mean, we can't express that enough. 66 Friday, 74 Saturday afternoon, and then, whoa, the bottom just disappears from the forecast there as we drop. And, man, it's going to be a struggle to warm back up. All right. Thanks so much, Cedric.